always love her. Cause I think the whole world of it. And you can't change that. Cause you're the only one I love. And you can't change that. Yalu, I need advice. Don't you have some work to do? I will finish tossing your salad later. It's tossing the salad. There's a big difference. What is the difference? Dinner and a movie. I'm caught between a rock and a hard on it. Hard place. My good. Bad. My bad. <laughs> What's the problem? There is this woman in my Bible study. Last night she told me that she loved me and she wants me to be her husband until we die. Congratulations. When's the wedding? I told her that I have to think about it. Think about it? Do you love her? I love the way she holds my tie when we pray and put her tongue down my throat when we exchange fellowship in the name of Jesus. <laughs> she sure was doing a lot in God's name. What do you guys worship? The Church of the Happy Endings? <laughs> Who's your pastor? Bishop Don Magiguan? What's her name? Mary. Like Mary Magdalena in the Bible. So, is she a hooker too? <laughs> Mary Magdalena was an adulterer, not a hooker. There is a difference. I know. Dinner and a movie. <laughs> and a pin. My Mary will never have a pin. She's the same, and she will make the perfect wife. Then what's the problem? I'm not in love with her. You're trying to stay in this country, right? Yes. I have 12 months to get my green card or I'll be deported back to Bogota. Then you better hurry up and jump the broom before you have to jump the border. Even if I don't love her? Marrying people for the wrong reasons is the American way. Why do you think the divorce rate is so high? So, if you want to become a new American, stop thinking like an old Mexican. I'm Colombian. Nobody cares. Welcome to America. Why don't you invite Anna Nicole Sanchez over for dinner tonight so we all can meet her? You think that's a good idea? I just thought of it, didn't I? If I say a duck can tow a truck, don't say what? Hook it up. <laughs> all right, let me call her. What did she say? She won't come. See, I told you she was a hoe. She told her boss to let her leave early or she will quit. She's a gangster hoe. Are you sure this is a good plan? You need a green card? She's desperate? What harm can it do? I don't want to lie or lead her on. Lying and leading people on is what we do in L.A. Why do you think everyone wears shades? Hide me. Case in point. Better yet, hide these. Did Loretta and Kim call? Yes, they need a ride because, and I quote, that trick left us at Horstrom's and these lubies were not made for walking. Well, what did you tell them? What I would tell anyone in that situation. Call a damn cab. <laughs> if anybody asks, I've been here all day. You want us to lie? No, Martine. I want Jalil to lie. I want you to know comprende inglés. <laughs> Girl, you know I'll do anything for my niece, for a pair of Gucci loafers. Okay. <clears throat> and make that two pairs each, in purple and black. A black man first. Make that two mercies. Done. <laughs> I think we aim too low. We should have asked for a pair of Lady Gaga tickets. <laughs> so, how was practice? Great, you know. John still got it. Mm, great. So, what did John do after practice? John volunteered at the Boys and Girls Club. NBA cares, you know. <laughs> what about you? I don't know. 
just cleaning up. I'm trying to do what Tina told us so we don't wind up broke. Why do you mention Tina? I don't like the way she talked to us the other day. Why? Because she told us to stop spending so much money? Yeah. I mean, who does she think she is? Susie Orman? I, mean, I don't want to take advice from anyone who ain't rolling or at least got their own TV show. Rewind. Tina has a BA in accounting, an MBA in finance, and before she was laid off, she was an assistant controller at a Fortune 500 company. Does she have a TV show? Huh? Show me the network. Show me the network! Okay, John. What's really going on? I ran into Tina after practice. Where? You know where. I know she told you. I haven't talked to Tina all day. I told you, I've been really busy. Yeah, like a couple of Lady Gaga fans with front row seats and backstage passes to a concert next Saturday night at the Staples Center. <laughs> I ran into Tina at Horstrom's. What were you doing at Hordstrom's? And don't tell me buying another suit, because you already got 50 up in that closet, most of which need to stay in that closet. Excuse me? My wardrobe is hot. Oh, it sure was. Back in the 70s. You know, for someone who doesn't want us spending all of our money on stuff we don't need, Tina sure doesn't have a problem spending the money we're paying her. You should have seen all the crap she bought. Financial consultant? Aha! That's a bigger scam than life coaching. John, you got caught. So stop trying to throw my girl under the bus. I want to know what's really going on. I guess, I guess I fell off the wagon. You fell off the wagon. I backslided, which you know is the original name of the moonwalk. A lot of people don't even know that. Yeah. Okay, I was wrong. You were right. Oh, I know I was right. I feel so ashamed. And you should. <sighs> but I forgive you. I have to. I'm a Christian. Just, just have to be stronger. Like you. I'm on baby steps, love. Baby steps. I wasn't always this disciplined. Really? How did you? It took years. Oh. Don't worry. I'll help you get to the promised land. Are we expecting company? Martine has someone special he'd like us to meet. That's all. You getting married? He ain't sure if he wants to stay in this country. <laughs> this is my brave partner, Mary. I'm Mary Elizabeth, actually, but everybody except Martine calls me Emmy. Miss Castle, you ran out of the store so fast this afternoon, you forgot your credit card. You two know each other? I'm a sales clerk at Hordstrom's. <laughs> when Martine gave me your address, I couldn't believe my good fortune, so I had the rest of the things delivered. I thought you must have had a big emergency to leave without your credit card and all the clothes you bought. Maybe there was a fire. There is now. Some Lady Gaga tickets just went up in flames. <laughs> Martine, why didn't you tell me that your friend worked at Hornstrom's? No comprendo inglés. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, look at that. $600! $1,200. It was on sale. Buy one, get one half off. Let me see what $1,200 look like. <laughs> Woo! How do I look, Martine? Good. <laughs> Dina, can I talk to you in my office? Sure. I love you, baby. <laughs> yeah, he probably just wants a quickie. <laughs> he can't keep his hands off of all this. <laughs> if I'm not back in five minutes, burn the prenup.
to make me feel guilty for what I did when you did the same damn thing at the same damn time. We would have got away with it if it wasn't for that meddling sales clerk. See, that's why you can't leave witnesses. You don't get it, do you? You lied to me. Shopping is an addiction, John. Just like gambling and drinking and sports. I don't need you to cuss me out over. I need Dr. Drew. You need to come correct and tell me what's really going on. I told you. I have a problem. I mean, how long are you gonna beat me up over this? It just happened! <laughs> You're me! No. You just got caught. <sighs> okay. Okay. I just got caught up. You got caught up? With Loretta and Kim. I mean, when it comes to my addiction, they're like my suppliers. Except instead of dealing drugs, it's it's clothes and, and, and coupons and sales. So if Loretta and Kim jump into a lake, Dana's gonna jump into a lake. Maybe not a lake, maybe a pool. <laughs> Look, I was wrong, you were right. I know I was right. And so gracious. <laughs> what else do you want from me? I want you to take everything back. Well, you didn't take yours back. We'll take it back together, as a family. Well, can we just keep it in the family? And start over tomorrow? No, we gotta make that change today. Just like your girl Tina said. T Tina stole that line from Michael Jackson. I think you were right about it the first time. I think we need to can her man in the mirror and lyric jack and ass. That's not you talking. That's the black card. <laughs> now hand it over. Jamal. Sh Jamal? <laughs> but I got some really cute stuff. Here's mine. Let me see that. Duh, this is metal. You can't cut metal with scissors. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe God wants us to keep our stuff. <gasps> Thank you, God. But we can bend it. Each other accountable for what we spend. Okay? Cool. I love you. Really? Mm -hmm. Then let me keep my stuff. I mean, we can just call in the cards as stolen and, and get them back, right? Testing you. <laughs> <laughs> just one outfit. A pair of shoes? I think we should get back to dinner. A belt. I'll give you sex. A threesome? made a great team, Martine. The Miami Heat makes a great team. We make great friends with benefits. <laughs> Why don't you believe in us? I don't want to use you, Mary. You have so much integrity. That's why I'm crazy about you. Why I want to have your little Mexican bambinos. 
I'm Colombian. Nobody cares. <laughs> so I don't know the difference between Hugo Chavez and Cesar Chavez. I still love you. But I'm not in love with you. You haven't tried my chicken enchiladas. Once you do, you'll be sprung. I am a vegetarian. <laughs> don't you want to stay in America? Yes, but not this way. When I say I do, it will be because I'm in love, not because of my immigration status. You're such a good Christian man. Thank you. Can we still have sets? <laughs> you ordered two booyah meals, some booyaka fries, and two booling teas. Would you like to boo precise that? I don't know. Let me ask my boo. Boo? Can we afford to boo precise? Oh no. Let's ask our personal banker. Tina? Tina? Can, can we, we afford, afford the, the booper size? size? Yes, we can. <laughs> Just add chitlin chow mein and some egg fugams, and we're good. <laughs> this is great, we're on a budget, right? Let's drop her off at a bus stop and go to swing. <laughs> I heard that. You think? <laughs> <laughs> now remember, for every one cup of rice, two cups of water. Good, your in-laws will be impressed. Please. You know Southern folks come out the womb knowing how to boil rice and crack crab legs. They're not gonna be impressed unless I can make something complicated, like sweet tea. I just want John's family to know that I can cook. And I want to star in a movie with Cuba Gooding Jr. But that ain't happening. Actually, that probably could happen. But until I get that call, I have to be thankful for Netflix, and you should be thankful you have me. Thank you, Uncle Julio. That goes in the oven. I knew that. I went to college. Actually, no, I didn't. But it just works my last nerve that they even think I might be a gold digger. Honestly, can you blame them? Are you serious? Let's look at it from the ghost's point of view. I'm curious to see where you're going. You spawn a child that's good enough to go pro. He's paid millions to dribble and shoot a basketball, and anybody can Google his salary. He visits 32 cities twice a year with a rainbow coalition of hotties waiting for him at every airport and every hotel, not to mention the games. Then one day he calls Mama and them and says he's met his wife. What would you think? That he's lucky, because the Bible says he who findeth a wife findeth a good thing, especially if her name is Tina. So it wouldn't matter to you if he was broke instead of balling? We wouldn't be living like this, but I wouldn't love him any less if it were like that. But I'd rather do it like this than do it like that. In other words, you ain't saying you a gold digger, but you ain't going with no broke ninja. Something like that. I ain't mad at you, Kanye, but if I'm his family, I'm asking, what are you bringing to the table besides a pot of rice that you did not make? But it's been four years, and we're still together. And we're happy. Uh, when is John's family gonna realize that I really love this man? When you learn how to cook. Which is why we're here. What's next? A new pot. Why? Because I think you burned the rice. done with the floor, I want you to put the dishes in the dishwasher. What part of my cooking lesson is this? The part where you don't burn down the house. Face it, <laughs> cooking's not your calling. You're a trophy wife, a money spender, and a rock shaker. You'll be a lot happier once you accept that and stay in your lane. You missed the spot. Oh, yeah, die. Are you using water or chicken grease to mop that floor? <sighs> How's my Spanish, Monty? It's getting better. Now, if you can transfer the same passion for bad words to good words, you'll be fluent by Cinco de Mayo. Someone so beautiful can be so useless in the kitchen. I can't 
seem to do anything right today. I can't cook, I can't clean. Maybe John's family's right about me. Maybe I am just a gold digger. Just because you have no talent doesn't mean you're useless. Look at the Kardashians. <laughs> Thanks for the ego boost, Dr. Phil. You better not be calling the cancel coming over for dinner tonight. Girl, you know I got your back, but I won't be eating anything tonight. Why not? I'm on a diet. For how long? Just for tonight. I thought you had my back. I do, but I'm not trying to die. I'll surprise you. Watch. Oh, I'll be doing lots of watching, just not eat. Is that why you called me? Hmm? To remind me that I'm not perfect? No, Beyonce has that on lock. I just want you to know that I finally finished reviewing your finances. Please don't tell me that we have to move back to the hood. <laughs> not anytime soon. But there is something I'd like to talk to you about before the night is over. Oh, well, you don't want to talk about it now? I'd rather wait till after the Last Supper. Okay, Betty Lynn. <laughs> See you tonight. There's my baby. What's up, guys? Hey, John. Hey, listen, just got some. How was practice? Cool. John's just jumping out the gym. Coach thinks that John gonna have another MVP season the way John's been playing. That's great, baby. What have you been up to all day? Cooking. Seriously, what you been doing? Cooking for your family. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, wait, wait you, can, you think I can't cook? Baby, I know you can't cook. <laughs> well, you're wrong, Mr. Castle. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Because if you did, you know that I can cook. So, let me get this straight. You're saying you cooked this rice, this gravy, these biscuits, this chicken, and this cornbread? She sure did. That's right. She got a skill, son. <laughs> Nina, is this true? Bet you tight buns it is. And when I'm done mopping, I'm gonna cook a pot of chitlins. Cause I can. Cool. Mama doesn't think you can boil water. Burn it, maybe. She's gonna be more shocked than I am. Especially if the ride home isn't in an ambulance. If she likes it, maybe she'll stop picking on me for not marrying a southern girl. Like I care. So if you'll excuse us, we have a mission to finish up in here, up in here. Fellas, are we really trying to do this? To do what, Senora Dina? Fake the funk. When did you get so righteous? You need this. You need this. I just don't like lying. If you buy a house and hire a contractor to remodel it, don't you still get the credit? Yes. You own a kitchen. Know what you want to make in it, but hired me to do it for you. Just because I can't cook. Doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. I'll give you all the credit, and you'll give us a new line of credit at Hordstrom's. <sighs> Senorita Kim, you look ravaging tonight. Yeah, yeah, just don't lose my coat. I will guard it like if my life depend on it. Lose it and you just might. <laughs> Who's your friend? This is my sister Peaches. She's visiting from the Big Apple. I don't know where the country is, but they definitely have beautiful Peaches. Thank you. <laughs> He's charming. Watch it, sis. Cause you know, can't no man talk you out of your drawers faster than a Latin lover. <laughs> don't believe? Ask Madonna. Ask Pally. Ask Ricky Martin. Did you know that the peach is one of the sweetest fruits in the planet? Do you know that I've heard that line before? Oh, really? Mm. Have you heard it in Spanish? El durazno es una de las frutas más dulces del planeta. Muchas gracias. <laughs> I hear you're kicking ass and taking names, but you better not mess with my utensils, expense account, food budget, or my assistant. Why does an assistant have an assistant? I'm not an assistant. I'm a chef. 
In this economy, everyone has to multitask if they want to keep their job. Usted es controladora puta. Eres un bastardo. Oh, you forgot I minored in Spanish. So bring it on, cabrón. Well, this ain't over, puta. my girl since preschool and she burned the food in her easy bake oven. <laughs> New subject. Tell me what you want to tell me about the audit. Let's talk about it after we finish devouring your delicious fiesta. No, tell me. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, what's the scoop? None of your damn business. <laughs> He's my uncle, so whatever you say to me, you can say it in front of him. Okay. <laughs> All of your money is accounted for, but I can't figure out what Evelyn Jones does for you guys. Who in the hell is Evelyn Jones? Jones never mentioned her to you? No. Why? Because every month for four years, he's been sending her a big check. Don't tell me John has a jump off. I didn't say that. Don't tell me my husband's got a piece on the side. I did not say that. I just asked who's Evelyn Jones. You know who the hell she is. She's John's jump off. His piece on the side. You don't know that, Dina. All right. Well, then who else could it be? I don't know. Maybe his auntie. He ain't got no auntie. <laughs> his mother and father are only children. Maybe she is John's jump off. Maybe she's prettier than you. Maybe she's younger than you. Oh my God, maybe she can cook. I can't believe this. How much is that tramp getting every month? Dina, you don't know who this woman is. How, How much? much? $3,000. $3, what? Oh. Oh. Dina, you cannot go out there acting crazy when you don't know who that woman is. You're right. I'm tripping. <laughs> you can let go of me now. I'm good. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you play it cool and let me handle it the African way? What's the African way? I'll slip something into his food that I got from the high priestess in Papua New Guinea and he'll never see another sunrise. It'll be short, sweet, and natural. I don't want to kill him, Jaleel. He won't be dead. He'll be undead, walking around with sunken eyes, helping out with the laundry. You should want the truth. Now, you've been trying to get John's family to see you a certain way for four years. If you go out there and make a scene, all you're doing is giving your in-laws something new to talk about. I see your point. And I thank both of you for loving me enough to not let me go out there and act ratchet. It's not gonna be easy but I will get through this dinner tonight and deal with that other thing. And if you are not satisfied with his answers, just give me the word and we'll deal with it the African way. <laughs> Bobby Jingles, I can't tell you what a treat it is to, to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. When you were a kid, you were on one of the funniest sitcoms of all times. Bigger than Webster and Gary Coleman combined. And you're taller. <laughs> so you were a fan of Slap Me Five? Fan of Slap Me Five? That was so funny. My, Dolores and I, uh -huh. we'd catch the reruns like they're brand new. So I tell you what. Since I made you so happy in my old life, let me look out for you in my new life. <laughs> Bobby Jingles Insurance. Where do I sign? <laughs> first, 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 slap me five. I, I couldn't resist. Just one slap. Huh. 
<laughs> so Tina, any prospects yet? No, Mrs. Castle. Oh, too busy climbing that corporate ladder of success. Just like Oprah, Condoleezza Rice, and Betty White. All rich and famous and all childless and alone. Darling, you don't want to be like them, do you? Mrs. Castle. Oh, Dolores. Mrs. Castle makes me feel so old. You know, I still get carded at the bars. <laughs> For what, the senior discount? <laughs> I failed to see the humor in that. My bad. Dolores, mm -hmm. has it ever occurred to you that some women don't want to get married or have children? Sure. Lesbians, but even these days they're getting married, having families, so believe me when I say, Every woman should have some little ones to raise and a good man to come home to. Especially if he has a lifetime supply of Viagra like Mr. Winchester. <laughs> Tim. When do you return to the big banana? Don't you mean apple? <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> I don't. I live here now. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm staying with my sister until I find a job. What kind of job? Maybe I can help you. I'm a doctor. Oh, maybe you can help me. I have a pain right here and right here. I still can't believe my daughter-in-law can cook like a southern girl. I can't. I agree, darling. I mean, it was tasty, and Mr. Winchester did take a plate to go. but. One good meal does not a southern girl make. You still have a long way to go. But you're inching closer to the Mason-Dixon line. No, I can't cook at all. I wanted to impress you, so I hired somebody to do it, and I took the credit. Not unlike a general contractor. Then you lied. Yes, and apparently it runs in your family. I beg your pardon? You know, what are you talking about? I'm talking about you and Mrs. Jones. Me and Mrs. Jones? Yeah, didn't they have a thing going on and they both knew it was wrong? <laughs> that was my jam. What's going on? That was my jam too. I'll explain when everyone leaves. Shoot, I ain't going nowhere. Me either. Looks like they gonna need some extra insurance around here with my car. <laughs> Not everybody. Night, everybody. He said, y'all ain't got to leave, but y'all got to get the hell up out of here. You heard what the men say. Ustedes no se tienen que ir, sino se van todos al infierno. Vámonos. Vámonos. Take my card Bobby Jacobs. Bobby Jacobs insurance, take my card. I can't cure you, but I can insure you. Take my card. I can't hear you, but I can assure you. Hey, sweetheart, take my car, Bobby Jenkins, baby. Oh, yeah, I got your back. So, hey, get your hands off of me, Ricky Martin. I saw you come out the closet. Hey, 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 All right, Tiger Woods. Start explaining. Uncle Jalil, I think I can handle this alone. You want to talk in the office? Whatever you say. But if it doesn't work out, there's always the African way. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, what's going on? Evelyn Jones is what's going on. What about her? Oh, so you admit it. That's it. I want a divorce and I'm taking everything. I'm taking this, 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 this. And on behalf of my Delta Source, I'm taking this. I'm definitely taking this. 
And this goes with that. So I'm taking that too. And I'm taking these. <laughs> I'm taking everything. Wait, so you, you think, you think I'm cheating on you with, oh my God. Who is Evelyn Jones and what is she to you? Miss Jones was my eighth grade teacher. In middle school, I was wild. She saw something in me. You were just a baby. <laughs> that predator. Oh, far from it. Look, she told me I was smart and, and tutored me after school for free. She got me to stop hanging out and open up those books. Yeah. See, that's how they get you. With compliments and gifts and books. <laughs> Would you stop? <laughs> she encouraged me so I could have the best of both worlds. Play ball and go to college. A few years ago, I, I found out she had Alzheimer's and was living in a homeless shelter downtown. So I helped put her in assisted living. John? Why didn't you tell me? That money I send every month helps pay for what Medicare doesn't cover. If you want, we can go see her tomorrow. I assumed the worst about you. Maybe because of all the horror stories I hear about how so many pro athletes are dogs, and I just thought that- No. We've been married for four years. You should have known about Mrs. Jones. No, no. I should have trusted you. No, no, no. I should have told you. No, 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 no. I should have given you the benefit of the doubt. Look, one of us is wrong here. It, it was, was you. you. Okay, <laughs> look, I'll admit I was negligent, but you were just straight up wrong. Gee, thanks, Mr. Rub it in. Uh, but you're right. I was wrong. I'm sorry. What was that? Can you say that one more time? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry for not telling you about Mrs. Jones. I love you, Dina Castle. I love you, John Castle. If I cheated on you, would you really try to take everything? I don't know. Why don't you cheat on me and find out? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one.